Today I want to talk about how to be happier right now. Now, before I do, I know most people are going to listen to this or some people are going to listen to it and say, but this doesn't apply to me because I'm depressed and you don't know my depression. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know how terrible my life has been. Now, I do realize there are some people who are clinically depressed and have different chemicals running through their brains, but that is a very, very small percentage. The majority of people who will watch this are probably depressed or have anxiety or are sad because of the fact that their thoughts are not where they should be, not because the chemicals in their brains are not where they should be. So if you have a feeling of sadness or depression or anxiety, a lot of times it comes from the fact of feeling less. What do I mean by feeling less? You don't feel like you're far along in life as you should be. Or you look at other people's lives and you have less than them. Or you look at yourself and you feel less about yourself, right? You look around you and your life is not up to your expectations, right? You wish that you were further along. You wish that you were in the same situation as these people. You wish that your life was better. Your life is not lining up to your expectations. Therefore, you feel like you are less of a person than you actually are. So that's the first thing that you have to realize. If your self-worth comes from your expectations of where you think you should be or your expectations of comparing yourself to other people, you will never be happy. Because if most people, once you get to a certain spot, you always want to be further. Most of our goals or our life's dreams are like the horizon. The closer we get to it, the further away it gets because we keep pushing it further and further because we want more and more and more. Right? If you are comparing yourself to somebody else, that is a battle you will never win. And the reason why is because they did not have the same life that you did. Right? Nobody has the same upbringing. Nobody has the exact same life. Nobody has gone through the exact same life experiences. So to compare yourself with somebody else is absolute madness because they didn't have the same upbringing that you did. They didn't have the same journey or story that you did. So if you continue to compare yourself with other people, you will never win. I'll tell you that right now. So what is the easiest way to turn your sadness or your anxiety or depression into happiness is what you need to do is you need to trade your expectations for appreciation. Let me say that again. Trade your expectations for appreciation. Your expectations for your life or other people, what you want other people to do or what you do or don't have. Trade those expectations for your life or other people or what you don't have for appreciation for your life, for other people, and what you do have. The quickest way to become happy in this moment is to ask yourself one question. What am I grateful for right now? What am I grateful for right now? And if you make it a habit to ask yourself that question, you'll start to notice your mood change. And the reason why is because your focus won't go on to what you don't have because there always is going to be something you don't have. There will always be someone that has more than you. But your focus switches to what you do have and what to be grateful for. You have food, you have water, shelter, clothing. If you're watching this video, you have some form of the internet, whether that be on a computer or a phone. You're further along than most people in this world. You have something to be grateful for. And if nothing else, you have your breath and your beating heart to be grateful for. You have your health, your breath, and your beating heart to be grateful for. So if you want to change your life, change your happiness, change your sadness into happiness, you need to ask yourself this question. What am I grateful for right now? Next time you start to feel anxiety or sadness or those, those emotions come up, you will, no, I'm not gonna let this happen. You click over, you say, what am I grateful for in this moment? And you ask yourself that question and you trade your expectations for what your life should be because your life, life will never line up to what you think it should be, to what you actually have an appreciation for that. Turn your expectations into appreciation and ask yourself in this moment, what am I grateful for right now?